Sometimes when you make journeys, um, things happen and, and they stay with you for a long, long time. And one of the memories I have uh, back in the year 2000 when I came to St. Vincent and the Grenadines was being introduced to a young man, a young man that was eager to make it in the business. And I was introduced to him by a Calypsonian by the name of Dalpin. And the person that I was introduced to a few years later went on to take the world by storm with a song called Nookie. I'm talking about none other than the Nookie man, Jamesy P. Man, it's nice to catch up with you again. Yeah man, big respect, you know. Enough love and everything. <laughs> Welcome back to St. Vincent. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Now, you know, after Nookie, uh, which, was, which was a huge song for you internationally as well as locally, um, how, how did your career change? Well, um, it has really and truly, you know, Nuki has really escalated my career, you know what I'm saying? All over the world, England, you know, all over the US, Canada, the whole Caribbean, basically, back up in Europe, Germany and all these places, you know, I've traveled a lot, for sure. You know, I've been blessed, real and truly, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm very grateful to all the people who were instrumental in doing that, you know what I'm saying? You, you guys in England, you know, the whole media, the whole press and everybody, they, they, who just real and truly took my name and made my name into a household name. I'm really grateful, you know, and for that I'm, I have to say I'm blessed. So here we are in uh, 2011, Carnival Friday, you know, what, what, what's, what's the season like for James P at the moment? Well, the season's going, going good, I must say. Carnival is great, as always, you know, since the Carnival, they call it the best Carnival in the Caribbean right now, and it's doing good, right? As for me, I have like three really big tracks out right, out right now. I'm talking about the Naked Truth. I don't know if you heard that as yet. I'm going to give you a piece of that in a little while. I have the party song from um, produced by the Red Boys or the Barbados. That's Mikey and Scott. Who um, you know these guys produce like um, Big Gary now going home and um, Peter Ram, woman by my side and all these big chuck. And they were the ones who produced Rogaltic for me as well. And then there is this track called No Prisoners. That's a fast track. That's my soak. I'm on that track. And let me put this on record. The last time you met me, right? The first time you met me, I was actually in Soka Monarch with Dalpin. You understand? But this year is going to officially be my first time, really and truly, entering into Soka Monarch as James P. And trust me, I'm, I'm heavily favorited. You understand? I'm, I'm a heavy favorite right now, and I'm just going to go out there and put my best foot forward. You understand? With the help of the Mosai and the fans do the rest. The judges do the rest. Good. Back to the naked truth. It's a funny track. Real funny track. Have you ever been in a tight spot where you probably get caught? You know. The answer to that question is categorically no. But I'm going to use I'm gonna use my imagination and say yes. Okay, let me tell you, right? The naked truth, right? The naked truth, trust me. Is a song about um getting caught, real and truly. Getting caught and getting out of it. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in a position where, let's just say you do something on the side, you cheat on the side, and then the person who you cheat with, go right back and tell your wife. You ever been in a kind of position? I, I can say that I was. I can, I can categorically say that <laughs> this has never happened to me, but I'm going to use my imagination and just assume that it did. Now I want to know how you get out of it. How did I get out? You put the blame on this. You put the blame on the phone. You have a phone. You're in your bedroom. You're freaking. You're doing everything. You take pictures. You have little homemade videos and all of that. Your phone is not locked. And your phone got lost. So everything is out. So I tell my wife she lied. It's a pic she see. The one in my phone with my naked body in the same Blackberry that had lost from it. With the whole bedroom scenery. Yeah? And all the rudeness me and you did have in the And all the love me and you did have in the And the whole big videos we have in the We hear it done reach for eBay Lord <laughs> Don't blame on the phone so Cartel lost his phone and some phone come out Put the blame on the phone 
Yeah, I would just like to say, do not, <laughs> do not try this at home. Because <laughs> really it, it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> can, can, can we have a little bit of a conversation about Fluffy? I mean, the song Joe and Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy. Um, I wrote that song. I wrote that song like um, let's see, how long now? A few months back. But I was when I was in Barbados uh, in February. I um, I caught up with blood and the Armstrong. As a matter of fact, he picked me up by the airport. He housed me for the night. I was going to the embassy to um, straighten out my visa, you know, my, my, my US work visas and um, my regular visitor visas. And, um, while we in the house in the night, he said, um, Yo, man, I have this rhythm, you know. So I'd be like, Okay, let me hear it. He playing the rhythm. I'm like, Oh, man, this rhythm is nice, but I'm tired. So the next day, within the space of like, say, an hour or so, of me going back to the airport. I went to the embassy and I'm going back to the airport. We said, let me go back by the house. And trust me, it took me about half hour to 45 minutes to relaunch really with just Put down John Fluffy. It's basically John Fluffy speaks for itself. You like me so much that you give the name to the body, you give the name to the sweetness, you give the name to whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I do the same. We call them pet names. You know what I'm saying? We call them pet names. You call me Joe. <laughs> I call you Fluffy. You see, you see, you see. Yeah, so when you call me on the phone, like, hi, baby, I was Fluffy. <laughs> like, she's okay. And I was Joe. Joe cool to he good. When are we going to see what that? <laughs> Crazy. So, uh, Naked Truth and Joe and Fluffy, you can see what kind of guy Jane is. You know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm only joking, <laughs> man. I'm going to ask you a serious question now. Um, I, I, I've heard uh, 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 some news that you're no longer with uh, the Vinci Soka dance. Uh, what's happened there? Um, Vinci Soka dance, you know, that's a crew that I joined in 2008. And, um, I was basically asked by my friend Luther, which is my right hand man, my brother. I love him like, trust me, there's, there's nothing. I put this on record, nothing on camera, nothing. When I ever get the team and I came. As a matter of fact, he was the one who was instrumental in getting me, you know, looking tonight, my career. He was the one who introduced me to Mark Cyrus, the producer. And he was the one who basically held my hand and came into the industry in St. Vincent. And together, we do it on the outside. So, let me put this on record first and foremost. There is going to be nothing that's going to ever come between me and Luther. Good. As for Soka Dance, I have no malice, no grudge against none of the arts in Soka Dance. You understand? I basically left Soka Dance because I just feel I need to just hold my image and control it back for myself. You know what I'm saying? There are a few issues that I have with management. Cool. We don't really want to discuss that on record, but that's where my grievance basically is. I have no grievance with Soka Dance, I have grievance with the management of Soka Dance. And secondly, I just want to, you know, get a hold of my own image and control my own image. They're basically a progression thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you look at yourself, you look at where you have been before, and you look at it now, and where you want to go in the future. And when you un analyze all of that, you have to make a plan how you're going to move forward. So I made my, I, I made my choice. I'm going to move forward on my own. You know what I'm saying? With the help of maybe someone else. With the help of the most I, as always, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we just want to make some changes, basically, this weekend. Trust me. Well, look, I know you're busy. The breeze is blowing, but I'm not complaining. It's absolutely beautiful here. We're actually, I should let you know that we're at the Sunset Shores Hotel here. Uh, James DP met me along the way here. Um, uh, we're we're going to be talking to them about various things. But I want to wish you the best of luck for this season. Good luck in the Soka Monarch. Good luck in the future. Thank you for being a friend. And um, you know what I mean? You know, we're going we're gonna to keep in touch. And if there's any fluffy that you want to introduce me to in San Vincent. That, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Cut, 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 cut. No. James EP, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, man. Bless up, man. And thanks for having me to your microphone. And I know a lot of people will be watching this worldwide whenever it shows up. You know, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Bless. She fluffy. I just call you fluffy. She call it me Joe.